Hello and welcome to today, today's SFA webinar. Um, today we're going to talk about why your small business should join the Small Firms Association. Um, so my name is Louise Kenrick and I'm an executive with the SFA. I look after our marketing, um, our sales and membership queries and also our social media and some of our member communications. So just before we kick off, um, I'm just going to go through some housekeeping. And the webinar will be recorded today and it'll be available to download afterwards on the SFA website. And um, we will also circulate the recording and the slides to all the attendees. Um, if you have any questions um, on the webinar or anything in relation to SFA membership, you can email me um, or phone me with any queries. My contact details will be at the end. So just kicking off then, um, the agenda for today's webinar. First of all, I'm going to talk about um, small business in Ireland. Then I'm going to go on to talk um, a bit more about the SFA um, organisation. Then the small firm priorities that the SFA voiced to government on behalf of small business. And then kicking off um, really into the full membership benefits. Um, firstly, the HR, uh, employment law and general business advice that is included in SFA membership. Um, then the small business specific updates that we provide to members. Um, then I'm going to discuss um, opportunities to promote your business um, through the SFA, um, or the events that the SFA holds, and then finally I'm going to um, talk about the SFA skill net, um, which provides subsidized training for small companies. So with um, small businesses in Ireland, they make up 98% of all businesses um, in the country. So we, um, define small companies um, as a company who employs less than 50 people. Um, so the, the small companies in Ireland make up 49% of private sector employment. Um, and this is one third of the total value um, of the Irish economy. So you can really see here the huge contribution that small companies make to the economy in Ireland. Then moving on now to the Small Firms Association, some information about us as an organization. And so we proudly represent a diverse membership of businesses with less than 50 employees. So it's homegrown and spanning every sector of our, of our economy. Our members are found in every town and every city in Ireland. Um, our membership is really made up um, of companies, um, sole traders, um, up to those who employ um, 50 people. And um, so across all sectors, um, including manufacturing, professional services, retail, food and drink, med tech and hospitality, um, and many more sectors. So with the SFA, we are the small business association within IBEC, um, and IBEC are Ireland's largest and most influential lobby, lobbying group. And um, we have a range of um, associations within IBEC, and SFA is the small business sector. Our vision within the SFA is that Ireland will become the most vibrant small business community in the world, supporting entrepreneurship, valuing small businesses, and rewarding risk takers. Our mission then, um, it's really our, our key um, membership benefits then, is first of all, um, delivering membership, or delivering business focused advice and insights to member companies, and um, also influencing government policy to the benefit of small business. Um, and thirdly, connecting our members in a thriving community. Um, and then you'll see our aims listed below to be a credible and trusted advisor to members, to provide thought leadership at government policy level, to be the hub for sharing, collaboration and networking for small business, to be the centre of excellence for learning and innovation among small business, and finally to promote recognition of achievement, excellence and innovation in small business. So you'll see these aims um, running throughout um, the webinar, um, which are really the whole um, our, our aim for membership. So then um, outlining Outline here um, is the SFA membership and what it actually entitles you to. So the, the key benefits of membership then, uh, first and foremost, um, is our HR, employment law um, and essential business advice. I'm going to touch on these now in greater detail throughout the presentation. Our events and networking opportunities, um, our business trends and analysis, um, our SFA affinity program and cost savings. And the platform then that you can promote your business um, to fellow members, opportunity to actively promote your business, or, sorry, actively promote small business at national and European level, regular small business specific updates, and also discounted training. 
So the SFA is seen as the voice of small business in Ireland. Um, and here um, in the infographic, you'll see some of the, the key priorities that the SFA um, are really voicing um, to government um, on behalf of small business. Um, so first of all, making the tax system fairer for entrepreneurs, improving access to the cost of finance, um, helping small firms access public contracts, tackle the rising cost of doing business, opposing increases in cost of employment, um, reform the capital gains tax, invest in broadband and infrastructure, and finally reducing red tape and bureaucracy. Um, so these are some of the issues then um, that we ask input um, from our members. So we ask you to um, you know, to give us your thoughts um, and your experience um, on issues that we then um, bring to government and try to lobby to make um, the environment more conducive for small businesses um, to do business in Ireland. So then moving on then to the actual type of advice that we provide to small um, companies um, when you become a member of the SFA. So first of all, um, our, one of our key services is HR and employment law advice. So this is available um, to members um, over the phone um, and by email. And also we have a, a portal on our website. So um, as a member, you'll get um, a log on to our website. And there's lots of member only content on there. So that includes regularly updated um, templates to guide you through um, employee management and um, a jargon free overview um, of employment law sample HR policies and procedures, um, different um, contracts that you need in place for employees, and um, forms and letters, and um, also practical HR how-to guides. Um, and as I mentioned then, you know, the, the phone support, you know, so any query that you um, that you have in relation to HR and employment law, you can just pick up the phone um, and speak to our dedicated um, HR and employment law advisor. We also offer general business advice and support. So you'll see some of the areas that we cover around um, GDPR, um, Brexit support um, for small companies, um, health and safety, access to finance, government support. There's a range of government supports there that um, small companies um, can avail of. So we have all that information um, and we we'll try and direct you there to, to make sure you're, um, you're making use of any supports that you're entitled to. Um, advice then around public procurement um, and then general um, business um, advice such as templates around um, business plan and marketing plan. We also have recently launched um, a Grow Scale Succeed online platform and um, so this is part of our national Grow Scale Succeed campaign to empower small firms to recruit and retain the right people. Um, so now um, with the unemployment rate um, approaching the pre-crisis levels, it's increasingly difficult for small companies to fill up job roles. So the Growth Skill Succeed on online platform is our response to supporting, to supporting small companies in the competition for talent, particularly when they're competing against multinational companies. Um, we did a survey in October of last year um, and our members um, see recruitment as a critical um, business issue. So the Grow Scale Succeed um, platform, um, the content on this platform, we hope to alleviate this pressure and, and help small firms address concerns around recruitment, employee engagement, and also remote and smart working. So um, you'll see the platform there, it's sfa.ie forward slash Grow Scale Succeed. On this platform then, we um, have a lot of case study videos for small companies um, sharing their recruitment tips, how they engage their staff, and how, how smart working or remote working has benefited their business. We also have a guideline on where to source new candidates and on the different types of workers. We have a range of pro podcasts, um, which are really um, a nice way, just a short um, way to listen to some content on creating um, your job spec, way to engage your employees, um, and how to co-create a culture. We also have videos and guidelines from Vodafone on improving your net connectivity and cybersecurity to enable to enable remote working. We have a directory and co-working spaces, which are becoming increasingly popular. We have employment law and health and safety checklists for working remotely, and um, also a sample flexible working policy. Um, and more recently, we have um, content on workplace wellbeing. So you can access a lot of this um, at the URL listed, um, and you will find some of that um, is available, and some of that is just for member-only content. So you will uh, need to log in then with your member details um, when you join us. 
Another um, part of membership um, is regular small business specific updates. So we do a fortnightly e-sign, um, which goes out. So that will um, keep you up to date on any changes in HR employment law and um, also government supports available for your business. Um, and just lots of information there um, relevant for small companies. We carry out monthly webinars like this one on, on a range of different topics. They're a great learning opportunity for your companies. Um, and more recently, podcasts, like I mentioned, um, on our Grow, Scale, Succeed platform. Then we have a range of publications. You'll see a few of them on the slide. Um, or a, we have a Brexit guide, um, minding your business for and um, preparing for GDPR when the regulation came in. Um, and also our small business strategy. Um, so you'll, as a member, you'll receive um, our publications there as well, just to um, help keep your business in check, um, you know, for the likes of um, Brexit and trying to understand um, that and how your, your business can navigate through um, the Brexit um, complexity. So moving on then, another um, benefit of membership then is opportunities to promote your business to the SFA community. So within the SFA, it is a great platform to promote your business, um, especially um, you know, if your target customers are SFA members, um, it's a really good avenue for you to, to market your business. So I've listed a range of ways you can do this. Um, firstly, they're through our Better Business magazine. So it's a quarterly magazine. It's a hard copy that's posted all to, out to all our members um, and also in greater news agents in the Dublin area. Um, there's also an online version and a website. So we feature members news for this news in the publication for free. Um, and there's also um, great discounts um, available on advertising rates for members. Another opportunity then is for you to do a member spotlight at a business bites events. These are training and networking events um, held once a month on a Wednesday evening. At the beginning of the event, before the, the main presentation kicks off, we have three member spotlights where a member can get up for 90 seconds and pitch your business to the room. So it's a great way for you to introduce your business um, to all the attendees at the event. We also have media opportunities um, in online print and radio. Um, we often get media requests. Um, who are looking to speak to small companies on different topics. So we reach out to our members then. So you know, it's, it's a great way there for you to get some um, free exposure in the media. Another great way to get um, your brand out in the community is through the SFA National Small Business Awards. Um, the awards um, for 2020 will open in September 2019. And there's a great prize package there available for all the finalists in the awards. So I'd advise you to check out sfa.ie forward slash awards um, and just to see what's um, coming. Um, it'll be around the 1st of September or so when the awards open and I would really encourage you to enter your business there. And um, it's a great way and there's lots of free, free media coverage um, for the finalists in the award programme. We have a few then online ways um, for members to promote yourself. We have a, a member directory on our website. You'll see in the SFA Connect area of our website. We also have a member to member web portal where you can create a free member advert. Um, and there's also lots of um, member to member offers. We have an SFA affinity scheme, which I'm just going to talk about on the next slide. And that's a way for you to promote your business as well as um, achieve cost savings. And finally, another way for you um, to connect um, with larger companies um, is through we have a business connect event um, in February each year so that's a way of us connecting um, the small business community with larger companies um, to hope to win um, you know to, to start to do business with those bigger companies. So the SFA affinity program that I just mentioned um, this is a way to, um, to for you to save money on lots of different areas. Um, so it's exclusive to SFA members and it's a way for you to save money, build your brand and drive sales. So you can get additional um, benefits and discounts across a range of products um, such as insurance, utilities, web design, professional services, GDPR services and much more. So you can also save money um, but then you can also advertise. So if you would like to promote um, your business, um, you can apply to become an affinity partner of the SFA. At the minute, we have a few, um, I'll just um, discuss a few of the offerings we have. We have one with O'Leary Insur O'Leary Insurance Group, um, who have been partnering with the SFA for over 20 years to provide um, innovative and cost-effective insurance solutions for SFA members. Um, also, they can um, 
they negotiate a significant discount for SFA member companies. And um, so there's the insurance available through O'Leary's is available um, across um, property and business interruption insurance, employers and public and products liability, management liability, crime, cyber liability, um, and also any other sort of insurance options that you need. Um, O'Leary Insurance would be able to look at that for you. Another offer at the minute is through Sophie GDPR, Privacy Essentials, which provides you with the tools you need to help your business get compliant and stay compliant um, with GDPR. Another offer we have is with Frankly, who are an employee-led led engagement and performance management platform for your entire team. And they're also offering a reduced rate um, of five euros per month for the first 12 months for their software. So you can check all that out at sfa.e forward slash affinity. Moving on now to the SFA events and networking opportunities. So the SFA run a range of events throughout the year, which is a great way, first of all, for you to come along um, to learn. There's lots of training um, events um, and networking then. So you'll see some of them listed on screen. The SFA annual lunch, which takes place in November. The National Small Business Awards program that I mentioned earlier. So that kicks off now in September. We have the Business Connect event that I mentioned previously, um, usually in February. The Business Bites monthly seminars, which are training and networking events. Then the SFA conference um, that took place um, just in May past. We have a range of work shows and road shows. Earlier in the year, we had regional road shows, um, our smart business workshops that are focused on uh, smart working. Um, we have webinars like today's uh, webinar. We have SFA member evenings. Um, and then we have an employment law conference, um, which will be coming up now in September, October time. You can check out sfa.ie forward slash events to see all our upcoming events. And finally, uh, we have subsidised training courses um, through the SFA Skillnet. So the SFA Skillnet was re recently launched to address the skills gap within our sector. Um, so it. SFA Skillnet, they run cost-effective training programs supported by government funding. The cost of open programs is heavily subsidised for SFA members, with a one-day program costing €95 Euros and a two-day program costing €190. Euros. So the objective of the SFA Skillnet is to improve the competitiveness and productivity of small companies through training across three core areas, which are management skills, the talent the talent life cycle and future skills. So you'll see on screen some of our upcoming courses. Um, we have Pitching to Win Business on the 25th of June, which is a one day workshop, which will help you create memorable pitches that will win you sales or investment. Um, so this training um, will work whether you're um, selling online, face-to-face, -face, or whether you have an audience of one, two, or 100, and that's taking place in the IBEC offices in Dublin then on the 25th of June. Um, the next course we have then is Win More Business with Digital Marketing on the 26th of June. That will teach business owners and managers how to develop and implement um, your company's digital marketing strategies. So you'll be learning the fundamental skills of creating your own um, digital marketing strategy and plan. Um, and also then that's taking place, yes, in on the 26th of June in the Bank of Ireland work, Workbench in Blanchardstown. So for more information on Skillnet, you can check out sfa.ie forward slash Skillnet. So really that sums up um, what's included in the SFA membership. Um, so the subscription fee then for joining, um, so from June to December um, of 2019 and for the full year 2020, um, that costs 958 euros plus VAT, and that's for one to 20 employees. So our subscription fees are based on employee numbers. So you can check out sfa.ie forward slash join us now, which lists the full um, costs, um, the cost for the other employee brackets, and also you can sign up online. You can choose to pay by direct debit, splitting the, the cost across the year or by credit card. Um, and finally, I've listed my contact details there. So um, please do get in touch with me if you have any queries um, on what I've discussed today or any area of SFA membership. So finally, I'd just like to thank you for listening today. Um, as I mentioned at the start, um, I will circulate the slides and the recording to all attendees after. Um, and I hope that um, you join the SFA. I look forward to welcoming you. Thank you.